Hi, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do another Let's Play Clash of Clans and this is episode number 7 and so let's get down to it Okay, first off, this is my new base design which I know is uh, slightly flawed because I want to test out the, the theory of uh, the spring trap that does not have any kind of resource so as you can see from here um, the, this particular spring trap is actually intersect between three towers instead of uh, two towers and one resource and I do realize that it does have a problem with goblins that means the goblins will actually uh, you know go right through this spring trap triggering it but without the uh, you know triggering for the goblins because the goblin doesn't stop down there so uh, what I'm going to do now is do a little bit changes. Uh, this base is radically designed, uh, changed from the previous design because uh, my previous design is a little bit uh, too close to each other in terms of the entrances. So the other side are able to use the, the wall breakers. So the, the entrances now is actually spaced uh, equally apart from each of the directions uh, so that uh, they are equally uh, you know, designed in such a way that uh, all directions can be, uh, you know, utilize the giants to, to actually create the pathway into the maze. So uh, let's change this a little bit because I do not want um, the spring trap that does not have any resource so that the goblins does not stop down. So I need to change that. So what other two resource I can put in is um, very obvious is the gold storage and the elixir storage which a lot of people have already built uh, six dot storages three gold three elixir so this three uh this two uh storage needed to be uh included into this uh, uh area so let me think of a way so let me take out this arches and place uh one of the gold storage here maybe the elixir or the gold whichever is nice so maybe i put a gold here so this uh, wizard tower actually protecting three storage instead of uh, two storage. Okay, currently there are some extra walls on the outside of this space. So I was thinking, why not put the archer tower there? Right. So over here I can put an archer tower under the defense of you know a little bit of wall. So I got like two towers over there. I got some extra walls over here so might as well use it right and maybe and hidden tesla somewhere here as well so this is a very well protected area so i might as well put some buildings over here as well like the mm, some resource building some resource building that can be protected i know this resource building may need to be protected and one alternate building and maybe another resource building and okay so now i got guys when you build your resource um, gold mine and elixir collector make sure you alternate between a non-resource uh, so that you make the the goblin actually walk a longer distance like for example this uh, gold mine um, spell factory elixir collector army cam elixir collector um, barracks gold mine uh, barracks so that you actually walk a longer distance uh, this will um, make sure the goblins are not very effective okay so now comes to the part where I do a attack so at 1,571 trophies are uh, purposely maintained at between 1,500 and 1,600 trophies. So I can actually farm at this particular uh, trophy region. Uh, sometimes there is a lot of resource, sometimes there is not much resource. It depends on your luck. This is a good resource, but the uh, this base is uh, a little bit too hard for my level 5 troops. So I also skip it. So I need more gold, more gold. Yes, one one two gold is very very nice. This is very nice, and uh, 
guys uh, another thing is your buildings on the outside that is not protected by any defensive structures are basically freebies for me so uh, let's teach a little bit of uh, attack from here so let's lure out some of the reinforcement so here's some of the reinforcement is out of the base just to lure out everything sacrificing about four uh, barbarians okay so now lure the reinforcement out of the area where it's protected by the defensive structures and have to wait for a while for them to walk okay so now let me get rid of them more barbarians and my archers is doing a good job killing this uh, giant and here goes okay let's deploy one troops here and one troop here one troop here and you can see how easy uh, easy to get those uh, these troops okay so now I'm going to destroy some of the buildings on the outside and two one more breakers there uh, unfortunately it's being destroyed and what some reinforcement here and one barbarian king barbarian king yes okay so uh, just deployed the wall breakers and I have to destroy the buildings on the sides so that uh, I, my wall breakers uh, will break the inner part of the base okay so now I break the, uh, one wall breakers to break the inner side before I deploy more goblins okay now oh <laughs> I hate recording with uh, this uh, display recorder because sometimes it just delay my action and now i just wasted a lot of wall breakers over that side so now i'm collecting all their resource on the inside hopefully i can get every single resource i have here so let me deploy a single healing spells to get a hundred percent of the storage ah, damn okay so i've taken all the storages and unfortunately i missed out some of the gold um what do you call that the, the gold mine on the outside of the base i should have uh, deployed some some troops there on the outside so i have a uh, lacking of 50k gold from this base uh, but luckily I still have some archers uh, trying to destroy this uh, town hall yes I got the town hall there's a 2 star damage yep this is uh, a victory I'm not particularly happy with the result of this attack uh, but at least I got a couple of trophies from there uh, wasted 1 healing spells so I shouldn't have used that uh, anyway um, thinking of upgrading the raid spells since the P.E.K.K.A. I do not have enough uh, elixir to upgrade them is about 6 million which my uh, maximum storage is 4 million so I need to upgrade the storage uh, elixir storage to upgrade the P.E.K.K.A. anyway uh, I up upgraded my uh, raid spells so next is uh, maybe a tower currently the mortar I need a town hall 9 the archer towers I can actually upgrade them to a higher level up uh, maybe yeah the archer tower will be better so I can upgrade to level 9 of the archer tower which is pretty cool so next thing is of course uh, create a spells for the next battle and what else oh I need to uh, request troops from my teammates so that I can actually defend my base next train my troops okay guys when you train your troops try to train a fixed amount of troops that you do not want to donate first in the first in a queue and subsequently followed by a max uh, a, a full train of uh, troops that you want to donate for example the barbarians and archers so usually i uh, train the fixed number fixed amount of uh, war breakers which is two per uh, you know the barracks and uh, after that, I train a full uh, maximized number of archers, which I do not care 
how many um I I do, so it, you will not uh you know lack of the fixed number of uh wall breakers, goblins, and giants. For me, thirty eight goblins is enough, and um about ten wall breakers, and the rest is uh, I just maximize the whole barracks. So from here, I need about uh, three wall breakers to make ten wall breakers, and uh, of course, ten giants, which is enough for me. And the rest is uh, barbarians and archers, uh, which I don't care how many are uh, being built because I use that for donation. So guys, remember to use this option to uh, you know uh, train your troops so that you will not run out of troops to donate. So this is the way I, you know, for example, after battle, you have enough barbarian archers because I, uh, you know, max out my training with barbarian and archers, you know, after that. Well, basically, that's it for this Let's Play The Clash of Clans episode 7, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, and uh, I hope you like this video. And of course, uh, do remember to comment in the comment section below for what you like, what you do not like. And of course, share this video to people who are playing Clash of Clans. And of course, subscribe to this channel, right? So thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.